Your next comedian, getting an uninterrupted 60 seconds, goes by the name of David Lucas. Here we go. David Lucas. I see movement. He's walking up here. Here he comes. Oh, I know David. Make some noise one more time for David Lucas, everybody. Yeah. I'm from the hood. Anybody else from the hood? Yeah. I knew I was from the hood because my mom bought us the hood version of Monopoly. And every space on Monopoly was go to jail. <laughs> <laughs> in hood Monopoly, you start off with a light bill in your name. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, damn, I just started playing. How do I owe $1,200 already? You can't buy shit in Hood Monopoly, you can only rent, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> the pieces in Hood Monopoly be like a Chuck Taylor, <laughs> a pit bull, and a Cadillac with a spare tire, nigga. <laughs> the chance card in Hood Monopoly be like, uh, you took a chance and fell asleep in a car with two niggas that robbed the liquor store. Take your ass back to jail. Nigga, I'm tired. I had to walk from the back. <laughs> I think women are crazy. Uh, I don't understand why women like to be choked during sex, but y'all don't like to be choked in public. <laughs> now, let me get this right. I can choke you when we fucking, but when you act a fool like pink berries, I can't put hands on you. <laughs> I was with this one girl who liked to be choked during sex. And like we was fucking, and I choked her, and the bitch passed out. <laughs> and a nigga like me watch Criminal Minds and CSI. <laughs> so I'm like, damn, how am I gonna throw these niggas off my case? <laughs> so I took her cell phone, and I sent myself a text like, where you at? <laughs> then I replied back like, hey bitch, I told you I'd be there in two hours. I think that white people come from a different God than black people. Because white people want me to believe shit that I just can't believe. Like, they want me to believe that Christopher Columbus sailed the seven seas in search of some shit white people don't even use. Spices. Like, you want me to believe that this nigga lost three ship and 15 men in search of salt and pepper? Like, he had to be looking for pussy, you know what I'm saying? Because that's the only time niggas go to desperate measures. Like, ask a nigga in San Diego to bring you some lemon pepper to L.A. He gonna be like, nigga, take your ass to Ralph's. But if a girl tell a nigga in San Diego that she fucking, he gonna drive up this bitch on a spare tire. Yeah. What's up, nigga? <laughs> I, uh, I don't like skinny people. I hate when skinny people get on the escalator and walk. <laughs> like, nigga, I really need this shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, if you wanted to do all that extra shit, you could have took the stairs, you know what I mean? <laughs> I don't give a fuck how much you tap me on my shoulder, I'm not moving, you know? <laughs> If you keep fucking around, I'ma fall back and take us all out. You know? I'ma suicide bomb this hoe, you know what I'm saying? That's my time. Yeah. I hate the word cocktail. I hate it because the word cocktail sounds like a story that two gay guys tell their kids before they go to sleep. <laughs> like, hey son, you wanna hear a cocktail before you go to sleep? <laughs> I don't even drink cocktails, you know what I'm saying? Give me a mixed drink, motherfucker. Like, <laughs> you drink a cocktail, you wake up in the morning with a cocktail, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> 
Here's your cock, go tell about it. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm trying to be more healthy. Gave up meat and shit. Yeah, hired a trainer. But I hate when trainers ask me stupid ass questions. You know what I'm saying? Like after we work out, he like, what you about to do? I'm like, nigga, I'm about to eat. <laughs> like I burned 1,200 calories. You don't think I deserve to eat 800 more? You know what I'm saying? For real. I had to stop going to my gym. I was going to Planet Fitness. And these niggas was giving out pizza every Thursday. <laughs> like y'all don't give a fuck about my health. Y'all got candy when I check in, you know what I'm saying? Like after a while, I'm like, shit, the gym is $10. That's like an unlimited pizza pass. <laughs> I was only going on Thursdays. <laughs> Mingling with the rest of the fat people. Like, hey Ryan, what's up, man? They out of uh, Thin Crust. Better come back next week. We'll hit them next week for sure, bro. All right, man, check you later. small ass stage. Yeah. Uh, a lot of white kids go missing <laughs> through kidnapping and they parents killing them and shit. <laughs> and I think I realize why a lot of black kids don't go missing because them motherfuckers are too valuable come tax season return time. <laughs> Like, for real, you think daddy about to miss out on 2,500, you know? That's new rims for the Cadillac, yeah. Like, a black kid might go missing in November or December, but best believe January 1st, they ass gonna be found. <laughs> like, bitch, if you don't get the fuck out of them woods. My uncle filed a tax return on his son that was missing. He was like, that nigga ain't dead, he just ain't found. <laughs> I need that 2500 you know what I'm Yeah. Hell yeah. Don't you hate <clears throat> when you've been walking on a treadmill for an hour and you look down and it's only been 10 minutes? <laughs> Like, who the fuck put me in the twilight zone? You know? <laughs> Cardio time is in the matrix, you know? They measure that shit like dog ears, you know? <laughs> Cardio time is like one. <laughs> two. The crazy thing about the treadmill is that it doesn't even really get you in shape, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can walk a mile on the treadmill, but I'm out of breath when I walk to my car, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Nigga, I thought LA was expensive. <laughs> San Fran is on another level of expensive, you know what I'm saying? I knew it was too much money in San Fran because I saw today for the first time a homeless Asian I was like, bruh, don't nobody need a phone fix? <laughs> Ain't no karate studio you can open up, nothing. <laughs> but I realized why Asians are homeless, because they got Hispanics cooking all the Asian food. <laughs> I went to a, a Chinese restaurant today, and a Mexican dude walked out like, hey, you want fried rice, fucker? Well, what about this taco egg roll, fool? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> spicy or no spicy, man? What's up, man? There's a lot of racism in the world, in case you guys didn't know. But you know what the most racist things are? Nursery rhymes. <laughs> Did you guys know that nursery rhymes are racist? The most racist nursery rhyme is Ba Ba Black Sheep. <laughs> you ever heard the lyrics? Bye bye black sheep, have you any wool? Yassa, yassa, three bags full. <laughs> 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 
One for my master, like, hold up, what the fuck these white people got me reading in the second grade? The most racist place in the world is a laundromat. Did you guys know that shit? Think about it. You can't wash the whites with the coloreds. <laughs> Then you can't wash the dark colors with the light, the light colors. And then the dark colors can't get hot water. Like, why the fuck the dark clothes can't get hot water? Yeah. I don't uh, text ugly girls good morning. I text them good luck. She's like, on what? I'm like, yo, day, bitch, you gonna need it. You know? <laughs> I hate when ugly girls got good pussy, you know what I'm saying? Like, bitch, I can't even fuck you at my house. Next time you come over, can you put on a UPS outfit and knock on the door four times and I let you in, you know what I'm saying? I fuck with a lot of lesbian chicks because uh, I got titties. They're like, what about the pussy? I'm like, close your eyes, you'll get to it. A little lower. There you go. <laughs> that joke made me laugh. Oh, no, no. Yeah. Oh, shit. I'm here. My nigga. Uh, I hate when uh, girls be thinking I don't like doggy style. Uh, but the truth is, I got bad knees. I just can't be in that position for a long time, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> My knees ain't shit. I don't uh, have sex with skinny girls, because that's like an attempted homicide charge. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I, uh, I hate when girls complain about being on top. Like, what's the problem with being on top? Do you trust these arms over you in the missionary position? I can only do two push-ups. You tell me how you want to play with your life. <laughs> I used to watch a lot of wrestling growing up. Like, I watched that shit like a nigga that had a porn addiction. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> My favorite wrestler was Stone Cold Steve Austin. Yeah. The Jesus of the trailer parks. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Like, I, st I kept on watching Stone Cold, and the older I got, the gayer he got. <laughs> I was like, this nigga is dressed like a bikini softball player. <laughs> and I don't know how the fuck he got that big on a diet of baked beans and Budweiser, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I had to really quit watching wrestling because it was affecting my family life, you know what I'm saying? Like. I would put my retarded uncle in wrestling moves. <laughs> like my mom walked in one day and I had that nigga in the crippler cross face. <laughs> she was like, turn him loose right now. I was like, well tell that nigga to tap out. All he gotta do is tap out and I'll turn him loose. I had to go to jail for a few days and shit. <laughs> And I didn't know you're not supposed to eat the snacks that the inmates leave on your bed. <laughs> like a nigga left honey bun, chips, and noodles on my shit. I was like, damn, this is a nice ass welcome package. <laughs> then two hours later, my bunkie came in. He was like, oh, I see you ate the shit, huh? Now you gotta give me some of that man pussy. Man pussy? He was like, yeah, nigga, that booty. I was like, uh, can we titty fuck? <laughs> Whoever knew titty fucking could be so lucrative in jail, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then I had niggas coming by my cell like, hey, bro, show me a titty. I was like, nigga, slide them noodles under my cell. You know what I'm <laughs> We also have another regular on this show. Every single week, he writes and performs a brand new minute, and uh, he, he sometimes makes fun of me, and I make fun of him, and every once in a while, if the guest uh, comes up... Oh, wow. 
I don't know how the fuck I'm supposed to follow that. <laughs> Those fucking nursing home balls. God damn. <laughs> fuck. My granddaddy got a better nutsack than that, man. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I've seen babies hung lower than that, motherfucker. <laughs> Jesus Christ, nigga. I, God damn. <sighs> All right. Uh, there's been a lot of kidnappings lately. <laughs> Adult nappings. Uh, and my, my friend was concerned about, you know, all the women being kidnapped. And she weighs 300 pounds. She's like, they really out here snatching a lot of women. I'm like, bitch, you ain't got shit to worry about. <laughs> Until they drive around with a forklift and an 18-wheeler. <laughs> The only white van that's gonna pull next to you is gonna be filled with ice cream. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it looks like uh, Harriet Tubman is officially gonna be on the face of the 20. That shit is gonna make drug purchases hard as fuck. <laughs> Can you imagine going to buy your crack or your weed and a nigga give you a Harriet Tubman 20? <laughs> like, damn, nigga, I can't take this tub. You ain't got two tens or some shit? Yeah. I'm just saying, man. Like, you kind of disrespectful. You want to give me a Harriet Tubman, nigga? Like, I know you got four fives. Yeah. <laughs> Who the fuck is I saw a real picture of Harriet Tubman. I cannot buy drugs with her because she has the face of judgment. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Coming from a black man, that was an ugly woman. God damn. That's why she had the strength to free all them slaves, niggas. Can, can you imagine Harriet Tubman been getting fucked? She wouldn't have the energy to free them slaves. Niggas. Had she been dignotized, you know what I'm saying? So, ain't no fucking woman getting fucked good, got the energy to do shit. Yeah. Uh, good looking women don't change the world. You know what I'm saying? Because they too busy going to dinner and brunch. You know like, ugly women have all the time on their hand. You know what I'm saying? That's why they so fucking innovative. Example, the lady that made Me Too. <laughs> Y'all ever seen that bitch? She looked like Vin Rangs in the face. Like. Like, she just looked like she had to do a lot of fending for herself when she was a kid, you know what I'm saying? Like, I refuse to believe she got me too, you know what I'm saying? She was more like a same here, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, in order for me to fuck her, I would have to be me too, you feel me? Like, like bitch, you ain't got me too. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. yeah. B, nigga. <laughs> you don't find too many uh, black girls who are into uh, BDSM. And then I thought about it. Our ancestors had 200 years of that shit. <laughs> like, all right, I get it. I see why you're not into it. You know? <laughs> The only reason I date white women is to tie them up and beat them, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I was with this one white girl, I had her uh, tied up, and I was whooping her. And like, the week before I watched Roots. <laughs> so like, my emotions got into it. I was like, whoop, psh, your name is Keisha. <laughs> she was like, no, Rebecca. I was like, Whoops, your name is Keisha. <laughs> Bitch, you Keisha now. I have a uh, grandmother who's half white, so uh, I see white people in a different light than most black people, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think y'all are as racist as the world try to paint y'all out to be. Like, I don't think white people are racist when they follow black people around in the grocery store. I think y'all niggas just trying to learn how to cook. 
Like, oh my God, did she pick up ground beef, bell peppers, and onions? Yeah, Patty, it's called a meatloaf. You should try that shit. But there's only one white lady I know that can cook, and that's Paula Dean. For real. And the way that bitch fried chicken, she can call me a nigga. She's like, how's that chicken, nigga? Uh, uh, good as hell, Miss Dean. Crunchy on the outside, juicy on the inside. She's like, I like it. Yeah. Uh, I believe if uh, white people could give birth to dogs, y'all would. <laughs> For real. White people are fascinated with dogs. Like, y'all so fascinated with dogs, y'all get excited when y'all pick up their shit. Y'all don't invent a dog pickup shit bag or something like that. It's funny though because in a white household, a dog can fuck around and be left a million dollars. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the only thing a black dog is gonna inherit is the dog house that the dog before him had. <laughs> and if he's lucky, he might get a new, a new hub cap to eat out of. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah, let's see what kind of crowd we got tonight. All right. uh, Jesus' mom was me too <laughs> Like, for real, she didn't ask to be pregnant. For real. She was asleep one night, and a nigga named Holy Spirit was like, you gonna have a baby. <laughs> she was like, oh my God, what's his name gonna be? She was like, Jesus. Like, for real, man. He was a Me Too baby. <laughs> Had Jesus been born in 2020, nobody would respect his miracles because he a Me Too baby. Like, fuck that walking on water. That's a Me Too baby. His mama didn't want to have him. <laughs> Went to abortion clinics in Jerusalem, so, you know. <laughs> and what kind of daddy was Joseph? This nigga got to raise a baby that a spirit impregnated this bitch. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if I'm gonna buy this nigga no diapers or nothing like that. Uh, my baby mama is a result of taking one for the team. <laughs> you know how it is when you go out with your homeboys, the fat nigga always get the ugly bitch. I'm like, man, I'm cuter than all y'all niggas. She was a big girl, so we had sex raw dog, cause I'm like, she fat, ain't no way she got AIDS. It's impossible. You can't have an STD and be 280, right? You can't. <laughs> we had sex and I bought a chicken wings afterward, you know, in the club bathroom. Then she found me six months later on Facebook, like, I'm pregnant. I'm like, bitch, impossible. I fucked you in a club bathroom. You can't get pregnant having sex in a club bathroom. That ain't my baby. That's a snowman's baby. It sucks though because when you got a baby mama that's. Oh, that go ahead, you can finish if you want to finish. Nah, go ahead. That's it. Uh, it kind of sucks for me because I uh, just uh, lost custody of my daughter. Uh, but nigga, my summer about to be lit, ain't it? <laughs> Fuck that. I'm happy as hell, you know. I love being a baby daddy. Like I take child support over time with my kids any day, you know. <laughs> Like, give me two weekends a month. Fuck that, man. I, every day? What I'm gonna do with you every day? I don't even know what you like to eat. <laughs> For real, man. All my baby mamas know, once my kid can recognize me, I'm out. <laughs> as soon as they like, dad, dad, I'm like, all right, bro. <laughs> all right, man. But for real though, I think my next baby mama is gonna be Asian. Um, that way my kids can make the Nikes that they are gonna wear. How you like them Nikes, son? Yeah. yeah. I'm glad uh, they made the show You on Netflix so the rest of the world can see how crazy white men are. <laughs> like, y'all try to act like niggas is crazy, but this nigga is through the roof. 
he stalking and killing bitches, you know? But white people been crazy a long ass time. Y'all just used to hide that shit in y'all music. For real. Aerosmith, they were psychos. I can stay awake just to hear you breathing. Does that not sound like a crazy motherfucker? What nigga in they right mind wanna stay awake to hear a bitch breathing? Maybe you can stay awake so you can give me some pussy, but I'm... Stay awake to hear you breathing, motherfucker. A lot of people think uh, that the hardest part about breaking up with an ex is like trying to get over all the memories that y'all had together. But I think the hardest part about breaking up with an ex is having to fuck somebody new with a condom. <laughs> That's the worst part, that shit suck. Like, I gotta start fucking with a condom again? Like, <laughs> and I got a big ass belly, so I only got one shot to put a condom on, you know? <laughs> After that, I'm like, bitch, you gonna have to trust me, like. Like, I'm over 250, I can't have AIDS, right? Big, <laughs> big niggas do not have AIDS. <laughs> I'm too fat, that shit passed me. Like, wearing condoms suck, though. Wearing a condom is like putting on a glove and then going to wash your hands. <laughs> like, I can feel the water, but I don't feel no wetness, you know? <laughs> I uh, accidentally fell in love with trannies uh, because of this show called Pose. Like I was watching that shit for a whole year and my friend was like, you know them niggas, right? I was like, well nigga, it's too late because I'm in love with Angel, that bitch. <clears throat> she can't be a fucking tranny, that bitch is beautiful. But I feel like tranny pussy is the best pussy. Like, nigga, they can't get pregnant. I don't think a dick pussy can hold HIV. Like. <laughs> and then I started thinking, like, what type of gay guy would I be? Like, all I know is if I did have to be a gay guy, I would have to be the one doing the fucking. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm too big to be laying on my back. Like. Like, nigga, I ain't put my legs in there for you. <laughs> One of my favorite movies growing up was Home Alone. <clears throat> and I realized that uh, Home Alone was just an ordinary day for a black kid. <laughs> for real. Like, nigga, what took you a week? I did that shit in an eight hour work shift while my mom was gone. I stole money, ordered pizza, and fought bad guys, nigga. Like, and if she worked overtime, I might would've fucked somebody, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but some of his tricks were bullshit, because I think I would've had them bad guys slipping on chicken grease <laughs> instead of stepping on uh, race cars. I don't know. Home Alone was hella black. That, that gun would have been a real gun had that been me, not a BB gun. I would have had a fucking Colt 45. <laughs> and don't know black kids trust the police anyway. You would have never let that nigga in. <laughs> we know that you're in there. I, uh, I hate when girls think I don't like doggy style. Uh, but the truth is, I just got bad knees. Like, I can't be in that compromising position for a long ass time, you know what I'm saying? And like, if you fuck with me, do not complain about being on top. Like, do you trust me over you in the missionary position? <laughs> Look at these arms, I can only do three to five push-ups. You let me know how you wanna play with your life. <laughs> in order for me to do missionary with you, you gonna have to sign a fucking waiver, you know what I'm saying? I agreed to let this 300 pound nigga hover over me and potentially drop sweat in my eye for the next 10 to 15 minutes. <laughs> I, uh, I'm not very religious. I was having a talk with my mom the other day about the Bible. 
I was like, I can't really believe everything in the Bible, Mom. I was like, do you really believe that Noah took two of everything on that fucking ship? And she was like, yeah, it's in the Bible. I'm like, so this nigga took two roaches? <laughs> you mean to tell me he took two bad bugs on the fucking ark? I find that shit hard to believe. How did this nigga orchestrate getting zebras on a ship? How did the tigers not kill the fucking zebras? You imagine you gotta be in charge of getting some king cobras on the ark and you get bit? They'd be like, nah, nigga, I'm straight. God wanted this shit. God is my anti-venom, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, bro. Fuck. My cousin just died. Uh, after we, wait, after we raised $250,000 to get this nigga a new heart. <laughs> like, nigga, can you not be weak enough to die before we raise the money? Uh, burying this nigga was like burying a treasure. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> ain't none of us seen no money like that before. You know what kind of funeral we could have had for you? We could have had a Ferris wheel at your shit. A hundred thousand more dollars, I would have hired one of them puppeteers to string your body up and make you dance <laughs> in front of the whole audience. <laughs> you could have had a platinum casket, nigga, with a diamond chain, but you. I swear, uh, girls be dating fat niggas just to find out about new restaurants. <laughs> But I got simple rules when I take girls out. If I take you out to eat and we ain't fucked yet, you can't take a to-go box home. <laughs> because some guys will let their girls go out to eat with fat niggas just to bring food back home. <laughs> like, hey, when you go out to eat with that nigga, get a T-bone medium well. <laughs> get two sides of garlic mashed potatoes. Take one bite and tell that nigga you fool. <laughs> and if you touch your phone while we eating, you just pay for your own fucking meal. Uh, does anybody use Waze? Yeah. I feel like uh, Waze is better than Google Maps. Uh, Waze have you doing some stupid ass shit to save time in traffic. Like the other day, Waze told me to go through a Chick-fil-A drive-thru <laughs> so I could save seven minutes on my route. <laughs> they were like, go through the drive-thru, get a number one, no pickles, <laughs> well done on the fries, and the freeway will be clear by the time you get your lemonade. <laughs> my pleasure. <laughs> But Waze does seem like it was an app designed by black people because that shit let you know where the police are at. <laughs> police, 1,200 feet ahead. Thank you, Tyrone. <laughs> right. There you go, David Lucas. I think I'm blacker than people think I am, but I think that you're whiter than people Hell think yeah, you bro. are. Hell yeah, bro. I listen to Matchbox 20. <laughs> <laughs> Said I don't know if I've ever been good enough. I'm a little bit rusty. <laughs> I want to push you around. Yeah, I will. Well, I will. For granted, yeah, I will, I will. 
wow, dude. I feel like you could sell out arenas just covering Matchbox 20. Blame it all on my roots. <laughs> I showed up in boots. Whoa! It ruined your black tie affair. <laughs> the whole crowd is singing. Last one to know. The last one to show I was the last one you thought you see there. This is incredible. And I saw the surprise and the fear in his eyes when I took his glass of champagne. Come on, sing it, Sacramento. <laughs> we will both be. You never. Hey. Cause I got friends in low places where the whiskey drowns and the beer chases my blues away. I'll be okay. Hey. I'm not big on social great. Think I slip on down to the oasis. So oh, I got friends. And low places. Fuck yes! Woo-wee! Fucking amazing. How about one more time for the great David Lucas, everybody? Yeah. Unbelievable. Unfucking believable. One of my favorite Kill Tony moments ever. I don't think we've ever had the entire crowd sing a song quite like that before. God, I love that motherfucker. <laughs>